Hi, welcome to Tiger and Cat channel. Please do remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. This video is going to discuss about ionic equilibrium part two. Here is where our lesson starts about calculation in strong acid, strong base, and weak acid, weak base. There are a few formulas that we need to know before we start to calculate the concentration of strong acid, strong base, or the pH of strong acid or strong base. First is about pH and pOH. pH is the P is represent the negative block, and then OH is represent the concentration of hydroxide. Okay, and then H is referred to the concentration of hydronium ion. And then we must know Kw is a constant with the value 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14 is the concentration of hydronium ion times hydroxide ion. So pKw equal to pH plus pOH. See, we know the value of pKw. So negative log 1 times 10 to the power of negative 14 actually is equal to 14. So pH plus pOH equal to 14. So these are the common formula that we need to know in order to solve the problem related with calculation. Let's look at example one. Find the value of concentration of hydrogen ion that correspond to each of the following value of pH. Meaning that we need to know how to press the calculator. Okay, so 2.9 and 11.61. And then the question asks about pH. So 2.9 is referred to acidic solution, the approximate pH of lemon juice. And 11.61 is the pH of dilute or household ammonia. This question pH equal to 2.9. As we know, pH equal to negative log concentration H plus and equal to 2.9. Meaning that this one, we need to do the reverse calculation. Okay, so log concentration of H plus equal to negative 2.9. So now log, you have to move to here. That's why anti log. So you press your calculator by shift log, then bracket negative 2.9. And then you get 1.259 times 10 to the power of negative 3 molar. So let your answer in four significant value. Huh? Next, we are going to apply the same thing, pH equal to negative log concentration H+, plus, which is 11.61. So log concentration H plus equal to negative 11.61. Log move to here, so shift log, then bracket negative 11.61, then you will get 2.455 times 10 to the power of negative 12 molar. Always remember, must write down the unit. So example 2, okay, complete the following table by calculating the missing entries and indicating whether the solution is acidic or basic. Okay, this can help you to understand more about the relationship between pH, pOH, concentration H+, and concentration hydroxide. Okay, we will determine the solution whether it's acidic or basic based on the pH value. Check. So over here, pH 6.21 acidic, 3.87 acidic, 2.46 and acidic, more than 7. 10.75 basic. Okay, you try the exercise and then check the answer over here. For the strong acid and base are considered to be 100% dissociated or ionized in an aqueous solution. So by using example 3, HCl is a strong acid ionized in water and then from H3O plus hydronium ion plus Cl negative. Sometimes, right, H2 is not written and then you straight away H plus plus Cl negative also can. So the concentration of H plus ion is required to calculate the pH. First, have to ensure that the chemical equation describing the ionization of hydrochloric acid in water is written. Then hydrochloric acid is a strong acid and ionized completely. That's why one way arrow. A concentration table is constructed to determine the change in concentration of important species in solution. Particularly is H plus or hydroxonium, hydronium ion. Finally, this concentration is used to calculate the pH. So initially it's 0.02 molar. Actually, the concept like ice table, negative, okay, minus the number of the concentration over here, and then this one plus the concentration is one mole to one mole. That's why is the concentration is the same. Okay, 
Now since the concentration of H3O plus is 0.02 molar, so negative log concentration, you get 1.7. This is the pH of hydrochloric acid. Okay, for barium hydroxide, okay, we are using the same method. Okay, the first one, okay, we must write a equation. Okay, over here, we have to alert, there are two more of hydroxide. That's why for the final concentration of hydroxide, you have to times 2. By using 0 0.00035 molar times 2, which is 0 0.007 molar. Over here, the question asks about pH. So here, this one is the concentration of PO, uh, is the concentration of hydroxide. That's why we, based on this method one, we find out the concentration of hydrox hydronium ion first by using Kw equal to concentration of hydroxide times concentration of hydronium ion. So over by using this substitute, and then we get the concentration of hydronium ion is 1.7, uh, 1.4286 times 10 to the power of negative 11 molar. Okay, and then we press Okay, negative block concentration will get 10.85. Or you can use method 2. Okay, since we know this is hydroxide, the concentration of hydroxide, we can calculate the pOH first. So equal to 3.15. So we know pH equal to 40 minus pOH. And then 40 minus 3.15, we get 10.85. Okay, both methods also will get the same answer. Depends on you which one you prefer. Okay, then this is example 5. By solving these two questions, what is the pH of this concent uh, 0 0.028 molar sodium hydroxide? And then what is the pH of 0 0.0011 molar calcium hydroxide alert? This one is one more hydroxide. This is two more hydroxide. So the this is using method 1. Okay, one more of hydroxide. Okay, 0 0.028 molar sodium hydroxide equal to 0 0.028 molar hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide, hydroxide 1 to 1, that's why it's the same. So you find out the concentration of H plus first because this is hydroxide. So concentration of hydroxide. So you find out the P, uh, concentration of H plus and then negative log concentration of H plus, you get the answer 12.45. Okay, this is the method 2. Okay, we find out the pOH first and then we're using pH equal to 14 minus pOH and then we get, we get this answer. B. Okay, here two mole. That's why the 0 0.0011 molar for the calcium hydroxide you need to times two because there are two mole of hydroxide. So the concentration of hydroxide is 0 0.0022 molar. Okay, found the concentration of H plus by using the formula Kw equal to H3O plus times hydroxide. Okay, then you get the concentration of hydronium ion and then you pH negative log concentration of hydronium ion. Then you get 11.34. You also can apply method two to solve this problem. Huh? acid and strong base just now actually is applicable for weak acid and weak base calculation as well for weak acid weak base calculation in what few small step so first step balance equation and then must write down the phase number two step two we need to form the ice table okay this one only applicable for weak acid weak base huh? we have to write out the ka or kb expression then substitute the x value or the actual value into the k or f can be expression or we need to find out the value of the x based on the substitution we can apply the quadratic method or direct calculation or approximation method so later we are going to check how to apply the approximation method normally step 5 answer the question the question might ask you to find out the ph ka kb or concentration so let's check for a few examples Showing problem involving weak acid, weak base equilibria, normally there are two general type of problem. First, given equilibrium concentration, find Ka or Kb. Number two, given Ka or Kb value and some concentration information, then find the other equilibrium concentration. So normally we need to apply ice table. And then there are a few exam there are one exemption that we can do if the Ka or Kb value is equal or less than 10 to the power of negative 5 because hydronium ion from autonization of water is negligible. That's why a weak acid actually has a small Ka value. So the initial concentration of the acid after minus the dissociation of the concentration of acid actually is similar or near to the initial concentration. So we can make the assumption 
the initial concentration of acid minus x actually is equal to the initial concentration which is meaning that x very small okay after we apply the oxy approximation method right we can apply the 5% test to check the assumption whether it's justified or not the first question example 6 okay concentration of nitric acid okay given and then the Ka value is 10 to the power of negative 4 meaning that we have to use the normal method okay write down the balance equation okay make sure phase of each species have to write down initial concentration is given 0 0.038 okay 0 0 for the product at the initial state negative x positive x positive x then equilibrium concentration is sum up the initial concentration and the change of concentration you get 0 0.036 minus x for nitrous acid x x for hydronium ion and no2 negative ion next step three after form the ice label is ka expression then substitute x times x x squared over 0 0.036 minus x equal to 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 4. so here we are going equation to calculate the value of x make sure you know how you have to solve the mathematic for the 0 0.036 minus x times 4.5 times 10 to the power of negative 4 be careful huh? after form the quadratic equation press the calculator there are two x value only the positive okay after substitute only the positive concentration will be accepted huh? and then concentration is never negative that's why this value is like is ignored or neglected. Number six haven't finished yet because you just satisfy all the x value. Actually, the x value equal to the concentration of hydronium ion. So this is the concentration. Remember, molar must make this conclusion. Now, uh. once you satisfy the x, you have to write down concentration of H3O plus equal to x, and then with this value with concentration. Now you only proceed with pH equal to negative log concentration of hydronium ion. Substitute the value and then you get 2.42. So this is step 5, answer the question. So for this question, you need to calculate the pH. Next. Number 7, the concept is still the same. Initial concentration of the hydrogen fluoride is given 0 0.5 molar. And then the Ka value for hydrogen fluoride is 7.1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. So this question also applied the normal method. Concentration, step 1, balance equation with phase. Later, okay, HF equals, hydronium ion equals, and fluoride ion equals. So step 2 from the ice table, initial concentration 0 0.50. Okay, here 0, 0 for the rectum, uh, for the product, sorry. And then negative x for the rectum side. And then positive x, positive x for the product side. Then sum up initial concentration plus the change of concentration. Okay, after that, write down the Ka expression and then substitute. Okay, x squared over 0 0.5 minus x equal to 7.1 times 10 to the power of negative 4. Okay, now you have to apply quadratic method because this one is times 10 to the power of negative 4 to find out the value of x. You form the quadratic equation, so the x value is 0 0.0185. This one is not accepted because concentration cannot be negative. Now you have to make the conclusion x actually is equal to the concentration of hydronium ion. Okay, which is 0 0.0185 molar. Then pH equal to negative log concentration and then you get the answer 1.75. So actually the example 6 and example 7 is the same type, question, same type of question. Now we proceed with degree of dissociation alpha which you learned in chapter 6. The concept still the same but you have to know that degree of dissociation also called degree of ionization. Okay, the formula is Ionized acid concentration at equilibrium means the x value over the initial concentration of acid. If percentage of ionization, we just time 100%. On this example A, okay, the initial concentration of hydrazine is given 0 0.25 molar. Please take note that uh, this is weak base. Uh, that's why KB is given. And then the question asks about the first. This is the first question. And then the second question is, 
what is the percentage of ionization? Means this one we have to calculate the alpha. Have to do the assumption degree of dissociation or degree of ionization equal to alpha and then only proceed x over c eh? and then here please take note ah finally this one is smaller than 10 to the power of negative 5 so we are going to apply 5 uh, approximation method just that one balance equation we face so this is the balance equation always remember reversible error and then equals liquid for water equals equals Initial concentration for hydrazine is 0 0.25. Final cons uh, the initial concentration for the product there is nothing, 0, 0. And then one more, one more, one more. That's why negative x, positive x, positive x. Then change, okay, 0 0.25 plus negative x. Okay, so x, x. So right now the care, A or KB expression. So in this case, KB expression. And then substitute the value is x squared over 0 0.25 minus x. So after substitution, you have to file the x value. In this case, we are going to in this case we are going to apply approximation method. So based on this one, we have to make this statement. Kb is less than one, which assume the x is very small. So zero point two five minus x is near to zero point two five. That's why x is negligible. So now you form this one. Okay, you ignore. And then you just do the calculation as usual. So, um, KB is given. So zero point two five times one times ten to the power of ten to the power of negative six, and then you set the answer. So you get x equal to six point five one nine times ten to the power of negative four. As before, we must make the conclusion. This x actually is equal to the concentration of hydroxide as well. Huh? okay. Check for the next checking purpose okay since you know the x value already right okay we are using the um x over c x over c that 100 percent you get 0 0.25 so this is less than five percent so the five if not satisfied then reject and then continue with quadratic method to find the value of x but for this case less than five percent so this assumption acceptable here okay, yeah? Um, maybe some of you might ask, is it compulsory to show this one? No need. Okay. Okay, but I have to teach you what is the five percent checking step. Ah. Uh. Just now make the conclusion. This is the concentration of hydroxide. Now pOH equal to negative log hydroxide. You get pOH equal to three point one nine. But the question asks about pH. So you are using um pH plus pOH equal to fourteen. So pH equal to fourteen minus pOH. So you get the answer ten point eight one. Okay, you just answer the first question. There are another question asked about percent ion of ionization. So x over c, x is 6.59 over here. Based on step 4, we success card find the x value, which is 6.519 times 10 to the power of negative 4 molar. Okay, and then over the initial concentration, 0 0.25 molar times 100%, you get 0.26%. If you notice right, actually this step is exactly the same as the checking for the 5%. Test checking. There are more calculations. That's all for this video. Please do remember subscribe, like, and share. If you have any question, please don't hesitate to consult with your lecturers. Stay at home, stay safe. Bye.